this is exactly what you want to see if you're chasing snapper in some deeper water. By that I mean 60, 70 metres. Got some rubbly bottom, big patch of bait, and you can visibly see the snapper arching all the way up to 10, 15 metres off the bottom. They should be active fish. I reckon we'll do all right here. And there's a fish rail. What do we got? A snapper? Well, mate, you've got to be happy seeing that come on board. <laughs> I'm never going to complain about catching fish like that. We're off the mark. We're on our way. Today we're fishing in the waters offshore Brisbane and we're with Ralph from BCF. He's been there for 10 years. And the boss has let him out today on the proviso that he shows us how to catch snapper using two different techniques, mate. You reckon you can do that? Oh, I'm pretty sure I can come up with the goods. Well, that's good because the boss said, should you fail, he's got plenty of awesome jobs for you to do back in the stall. Oh, I'm sure he does. Stall pride at stake. Mm -hmm. If you're up for it. Well, I'm certainly up for it, my Let's friend. go and find some snapper and see what Ralph can do. Let's do it. What's the plan, Ralph? Uh, plan is, Norge, we're going to mix things up a little bit. Yep. Um, I'm going to have a, have a go with some plastics, um, and you're going to have a go with some dirty bait. You're going to leave me to the bait. Well, I am going to leave you oh, to the bait. Fair enough. Well, let's, uh, I'll get the bait rods going. Beautiful. You look like you're organised. Yep, I've got myself sorted. I think I've seen some on the sound. Beautiful. Using one of the simplest rigs in bait fishing. It's a running sinker running straight down onto a single hook. So I'm going to use for a technique known as float lining. Slowly drifting a pilchard down to fish on the sounder. Hopefully get one interested. Get this challenge off to a good start. I'm gonna be using the Z-Man nine inch neon pink grubs. I've got it, gonna have it sitting on a, a half ounce head with a 5-0 hook. It's just a matter of sliding it in through the body nice and gently making sure you keep it nice and straight. Push him over the top of the headlocks and away she goes, ready to rock and roll. First port of call is a wreck. So it's always a good starting point just to speculate. Sometimes you find some schools of snapper here, very often patches of pearlies. If this spot doesn't produce, keep going into the, out into some deeper water and see what the depths hold today. At this spot, you never know, Ralph, could be a fish or two for us right here. We'll go on the court and play and that'll be awesome. That would be nice. Got him that time. Got him that time, Ralph. Beautiful. I find him like a snapper at this stage. He's a fish. What have we got? Here comes colour. And it is a pill perch. Nice way to start the day. Big bucket mounts, top eating fish, not our best sport fish. Said he make up on the table though. Come and see how he come up and eat yeah, it then. Yeah. Lineman slack. There you go. Yeah. Got him that time. Nice. Nice one, Ral. Just like fishing for brim on a grander scale. Oh, 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 oh just something got, just ate yeah, him. Just got eaten. Just let go, let it go. Be a nice big cove or something like that, I'd say. <laughs> oh, awesome. Had pearly, now have Had other pearly. stuff. We like eating pearlies, and guess what? Something lots else of, likes eating lots pearlies. Of stuff does too. It's a pity, because I reckon it was quite a nice pearly you had too. And I'm going to get dusted shortly. Yes, yes, I think you, there's every chance that you will. Oh yeah, yeah, he's, he's off. Like oh, quick, 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 boys. Oh, I'm going to get toasted. Gaunt. <laughs> Wrecked. I got told never to go fishing with Nigel Webster. <laughs> and guess what happened? It's not very nice casting dispersions about going fishing with Nigel Webster. Go up, mate. That was a nice fish. It was a big fish. <laughs> and there's a fish rail. Oh, that's got a nice thumb. <laughs> Picked up the bait and off it went. I don't know what it is yet. Gone to some deeper water in 70 metres now. And we just came over a bit of a hump with a few likely looking arches on it. And we're just getting used to fishing with a little bit more current than we had before. Rail's gone heavier in the jig heads and I just put the first bait down and that was straight away. It's like we like it. What do we got? A snapper? 
Well, mate, you've got to be happy seeing that come on board. Because <laughs> that's one to the baits. That is 50% of the way there. It's the right fish. It's a beautiful eating size. I think we can hopefully do bigger than that today. But I'm never going to complain about catching fish like that. We're off the mark. We're on our way. Yes, Raoul. Nice, mate. Yeah, this is a bit better. Good fish? Yeah. He's all right. Nice work, mate. Looked like he just came onto it slowly. Good old yeah. snapper bite. Yeah. Feels like a big pearly. Might be. That's what it feels like. You've had a bit to start with. A little bit. Didn't really take off though, did it? Like a snapper? No. Here you go, Ralph. He's all right. Ah, yes. Woohoo! Snapper time. A little test. We've met. It's always nice when someone throws it out there and you can come home with the goods. Now, mate, with regards to this one, all your, all your mates in store, Keith, Keith the boss, he's put the, uh, he's put, put it all on you, mate. What do you got to say to Keith with that one? Hey, Keithy, check out little red buffy. Hey, little red fella, mate, beautiful. One on lures, one on bait, and I reckon. More to come. I reckon more to come for sure. Using hold pillies as bait on a simple rig like this, running sinker, one knot, down to a 70, must add 7766. Pull your hook through the tail of the bait, fish down to the head, hook through just behind the gills. So you can see the hook comes through the bait, sink her down top of the bait, and she's gonna run down like that. And generally you'll find with your snapper, just the presentation of that drifting down to them, they'll come up and eat it. Very easy and very effective. That's a better fish. That's a proper fish. That's a better one. Couldn't get the bail arm over, Ral. It's always a good sign. Yeah. Oh, you gotta love snapper. There's Come a on. reason we chase them all around you the put coast. Put the stoppers on this one, Nigel. West to east is because of this. And one impressive thing is how much our gear has changed the last 10 years of how we chase them. We are using, as Ral was saying before, when he unfortunately lost that one, that we now fish a lot lighter for them and it is so much more fun. And a lot more effective because sometimes you've got to fish a bit lighter to get those bites. And this gear lets you do it. This is something from the live fibre, Wilson's stable. Around that four to eight kilo size. Just a beautiful little float lining rod. Match it up with suitable size reel. Braids 40 pound, 30 pound litre. Get the right sinker weight. Put a bait down there and put it there. They quite often eat it. Yeah, nice fish. Snap? Yep. Yeah, yeah good snap. Done by snap. Good looking fish rail. Oh, there you go, Nige. Well done. He's in the net. Ah, aren't they cool? Big bumpy head. Fight like troopers. They taste pretty good too. Cool. Using a technique called float lining with baits, and the idea is. It's all about the weight of the bait. You want it to present really naturally in the water. So you don't want to fish too heavy. Get a weight that'll just get you to bottom. And then it's a case of once it's out there and sinking, just let that line slowly run through thumb and forefinger all the way till it gets to the bottom. Very often if you, the fish are there and you've got it right, it won't get to bottom. That line will suddenly rip off your fingers, engage the bail arm and the strike and you're in for a bit of fun. It's very easy. Anyone can catch fish doing this. been with BCF for just a little over 10 years. I love working for BCF purely because it gives me the opportunity to mix with like-minded people. The most satisfying thing about my job is being able to pass on my knowledge and to be able to see the customer actually catch a beautiful fish. I've just um, drifted this big curl tail grub back down through the current and I've just been slowly, very, very slowly lifting the rod tip just to get that tail to do its, do its thing. And as you can see, I am very attached. There it is, I can see colour now. That is a cracking fish. Probably about the same as the other one. Nice fish, mate. Mate, beautiful little fish. Using the plackies and nice. getting the job done. Nice table fish. Maybe this is your size, because the bigger ones you hook seem to find ways Destroy to bust me. you off and <laughs> get away. 
Yeah, well, next one's going to be bigger. Yeah, I agree. Snapper won't bite all day, every day. When you find a pack of fish and they're feeding, something to do with tide or barometer, but it doesn't always last for long. So the key is once you catch a good fish, get ready quickly, don't muck around. Get a bait in the water, plastic in the water, and you stand a chance of catching another one really quickly. So once that bite stops, it can sometimes be hours before they come back on the bite again. Yeah. Work roll. That might be a better one. It's not so bad fishing with Nigel, is it? Nah, Nigel's not a bad bloke after all. All the things that people say about him aren't necessarily true. That's on, he came to the party. Get that pump and wind happening. Get his head up. We should see a little bit of colour, I'd say, in a very short while. Sounder, it's got lots of life on it. There you go. There we go. It's getting a bit better. That's another one. Beautiful. I get a fair chance of chasing these guys in shallow water, but it's really nice to come out here and fish for them in some nice deep water. This is exactly what you want to see if you're chasing snapper in some deeper water. By that I mean 60, 70 metres. Got some rubbly bottom, big patch of bait, and you can visibly see the snapper arching all the way up to 10, 15 metres off the bottom. They should be active fish. I reckon we'll do all right here. <laughs> Starting to bite again, Raoul. Yeah. It looks all right. Yeah. A bit better? Yeah. Good. Wants to argue with me, that's what I like. It's amazing, we sat there for 20 minutes, sound is showing plenty of fish, no bites, and all of a sudden everything starts happening and they decide to feed, that's why making the decision to leave fishing and senior sound always comes at a, at a price. There he goes. <sighs> Woo. Nice fish on a plastic, mate. Nice one. I'm getting a bite on the back rod, Thanks, so I'm mate. gonna leave you with that. Beautiful. And there we have it. Another nice snapper on a soft plastic. Oh. <laughs> El Sleeper soft plastic <laughs> has been eaten so often. You talk to charter boats, so often everyone's bait fishing in a soft plastic just thrown out the back and left in a rod holder to drift down through the water. We'll often pull some really impressive fish. Never underestimate the power of the sleeper and it's a good way to experiment too. Oh, I never get sick of that noise, Raoul. No, we... it's music, isn't it? It's what we do it for. <sighs> yes. The old sleeper rod. It's a good experimentation rod. In this case, it was 16 pound liter. Different style of plastic. Put a minnow style plastic. And there we go. They get a lot bigger and a lot meaner than this one, but I'll take any one that I can catch. The old amberjack. Good work, it's taken some time to find him, but I've managed to stick the hooks in one. There he is. There he is. A bit of colour. We have colour. We have colour. It's a tough day, mate. I wonder what the crew back oh, at work are doing. Man, it's horrible, eh? Just thinking of them doing 23 pallets of stock. Yes. Just starting to get the knob on head. Oh. Well done. All right. Nice fish, mate. Thank you, sir. When the snappers start to bite, it all happens, Raoul. <laughs> oh, just when you think your arms have had enough. It's double hook up time. Oh. Oh. Yours looks all right, mate. Yeah, it feels, feels like it's got a bit of weight. Oh. See and see. Oh, it's yours is a nice looking fish, Norge. The bump on its head. On that one. And my net. And two. And then the other one. Dude, it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> right, now I reckon arms are tied. Mine are, yours have got to be getting there. Yeah. We definitely have a great feed of fish. What do you reckon we uh, decide how we're going to cook them up on our way back to shore? I'm all for that. All right, mate, and you can give Keith a quick note for sending you out on a terrible day out here. Big Keithy, I hope you enjoy watching this on TV because I'm going to. Thanks. Look forward to seeing Raoul in store, mate. It's been a pleasure. Let's get out of here. Done. Oh. Woo.